Chapter 11, Alive. Hello, and welcome back to A Plague Tale Innocence. Look, it's up! Amicia! So you succeeded? Here! I have to warn you. Smells a bit burnt. Who's he? Roderick. But shh. Uh, the sanguine is it's an error. What is this book about? It's... It's the story of a little boy who's going to get a lot better now. Right, I'm starving. Anyone else? Me. Come and eat then. I think we deserve it. You too. Coming. Three weeks later. No, no, no! Bloody hell! That's no good. Hey, are you alright? It's nothing! <sighs> Tell me, <laughs> this door, have you ever opened it before? It's stuck. It's the only place in the chateau we haven't been yet. Don't you want to see what's behind it? Well, Hugo is asleep. Ask Roderick to open the door. Well, we're going to be continuing where we left off in the last video. Starting off with this new chapter. And no one sees us. The world has forgotten this castle. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, what was that? He rocks. Let's go take a look. This at least I know how to do. <laughs> there you go. Well, that was efficient. And almost painless. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Can you feel that? No. What? When you enter a place that has been abandoned for a very long time, there's something in the air. Yes, dust. No, the stones. It's like interrupting a conversation. <sighs> this is the first time I felt it here. Hmm. That looks dangerous. Let's avoid it for now. Another door. Shall we continue? Of course. Let's see where this leads us. Oh, nice. The courtyard. It's a shortcut. And we don't have anything for that yet. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. I found something while I was doing some clearing earlier. Come take a look. Another story about stones? Actually, you're not far off. <laughs> okay, follow Roderick. We will be doing just that. A fresco. It's strangely familiar. It includes the symbols of the pillars. This castle has things to tell us, huh? And what is it telling us then? Even I don't understand everything. I just think we'll be fine here. Amicia! Come quickly! It's Hugo! Oh no. I'm coming! Need me? Uh, I'll call you. Come on! Come on! All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm here, Lucas. Quickly, Hugo. Please. It's getting worse and worse. The macula is progressing too fast. I realize that, Amicia. I'm doing my best. I, I mean, I'm trying to do what the book says, but it's going to take too long. I need a proper laboratory. Like Laurentius had? No, no. One with better equipment. Well, perhaps my mother, at my home. She must have had some equipment there. You're right. It's worth a try. Amicia! Lucas! Of 
poor guy. I believe your twins are back. Meli! You found him! More dead than alive. But yes. Amicia, we, we came because, well... Yes. Arthur, you tell her. After our little adventure with your heretic burning friends, I ended up in an Inquisition cell. One day I saw the guards accompany a prisoner who looked the worse for wear. Those bastards wanted her to tell them where her son was, so... They threatened her. And I heard her name. Beatrice Storum. Mother is alive? She's alive? You managed to get Arthur out? It wasn't simple. Believe me. So you could... Forget it. I was nothing. But she... She's too important to the Grand Inquisitor. He, uh... Questions her... A lot. They... Torture her? Hugo mustn't know anything of this. Even that she's alive? It might help him. And what will we say when he wants to see her? Tell him nothing, all right? Ah! Oh no! Hugo! Hugo! Ah! Ah! The next threshold, ah! it's coming. We have to go at once, to my home, now. You go, we'll stay here with him. It will be all right, my little brother. I swear, this time we will heal you. All right. I'll get the sanguinity genera and some potions, and then we'll leave. All right. That'll be the end of the video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.